Welcome to Effect House. Today, we'll show you how to use templates and the asset library to quickly create stunning AR effects, even if you're a beginner. First, we'll introduce you to what templates are and how you can use them to make trendy effects. Next, we'll explain how you can use templates with the asset library to create your own unique effects. We'll show you how you can customize the visual scripting elements in templates to engage users. Finally, we'll provide some template tips and tricks so you can be on your way to creating awesome effects. Let's get started. First things first, what is a template and how does it work in Effect House? Templates are pre-made effects that are available in one click. They not only provide inspiration, but also speed up the creation process. Templates are a great way to learn how to use new capabilities and make trendy effects. Once you open Effect House, you'll see some recommended templates on the home screen. You can simply pick one and dive in. To access all templates, go to the Templates tab, where you can find all the templates we provide. You can also filter them by category. There are lots of different kinds of templates and each one of them can be used differently. Some templates teach you how to make trendy effects on TikTok. For example, this randomizer 2D template shows you how to create a popular randomizer effect. Other templates can be used to get familiar with new features. Effect House has a lot of cool features you can use, so we get it. Sometimes it's just hard to know where to start. That's why we provide recommendations in our templates on how to use complex features like advanced AI, physics, AR features, and more. For example, this dynamic chain template shows how to use the dynamic chain component to incorporate swinging and swaying motions onto the provided hair and earring models, which you can customize. That brings us to our next point. The best way to successfully use templates is to customize them so you can make your own unique effects. Customizing templates is easy. You can simply swap out the 3D models, 2D assets, materials, and modify the visual scripting logic. And don't forget to save your work. The asset library is also a treasure trove of resources that can help you customize templates. To access the asset library, you can simply click on the asset library button at the top of your workspace, or go to the assets panel, click on the add button, and then select browse asset library. You can find anything from 3D models to materials, screen effects, and more. Here's an example showing you how to customize a template using resources from the asset library. First, choose the template you want to customize. For this example, we'll go to the body category and select the segmentation template. Once that loads, you'll see an object with the name background change texture, which indicates that you can customize the texture of this object. Pretty simple, right? Next, you can find suitable assets from the asset library to change the background animation here. Open the asset library, go to the 2D tab, and choose from any of the 2D assets available. We'll choose Confetti Party Burst. Then, you can import the assets by clicking on the import button to download the asset directly into the assets panel. Finally, you can replace the original asset in the template with the one you just downloaded. Find the background object in the hierarchy panel, click on it, go to the inspector panel, click on the texture slot, and then select the animation that you just imported. If you wanna go one step further, you can change the texture's color how the animation plays, and more. Don't be afraid to lean in and get creative. Visual scripting interactions are another important part of templates that you can customize to make your effect uniquely engaging. Some templates have interactive visual scripting elements built into them, which you can configure and change to define how users can interact with your effect. Let's walk through an example. We'll go to Templates, Face, and then select the Change Hair Color template. 
When you take a look at the visual scripting panel, you'll see some interactive logic flows already present. Let's examine the facial movement detection node. The comment box around this node lets us know that you can modify the facial movement to change what triggers the hair color swap. The facial movement is currently set to I blink both. And you can easily change the facial movement to something like mouth open. Now, when we change the preview to show someone opening their mouth, you'll see the hair change color whenever the person opens their mouth. It's really important to consider how users will play with your effect. Try to create a fun and engaging effect so more people will be inspired to use it. Finally, here are a few tips and tricks to help you make the most out of these templates. To make your effect stand out, use unique assets and experiment with different feature combinations. Make your effect interactive by using visual scripting, but keep it simple. If your interactions are too complex, people won't know how to use your effect. Be sure to preview your effect on your device to ensure that it looks and works great. Share your effect with the Effect House community to get feedback and improve your skills. Don't be afraid to make a short video promoting your effect as soon as it gets published. That way, you can get as many people as possible to see your hard work. Congratulations! Now you know how to create amazing AR effects. We can't wait to see what you create. Happy effect making! For more information about templates and the asset library, be sure to check out our documentation at effecthouse.tiktok.com.